Hey, welcome to our next home flipping adventure. So we have a house we're looking at today. A wholesaler from Maryland called us, found a home in our backyard. Talked to my team about that. We've not seen it yet. I think it's priced too high, but we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it because it is in our backyard. It's small, and the problem we have here is we think it's too small. Uh, it's like 600 square feet, and we gotta try and figure it out. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look around and see if it's possible to be a short-term rental, like an Airbnb. Um, we're thinking that might have yep, potential. Because we do we do have a lot of um, Airbnbs already in this neighborhood, so I don't want to saturate it too much, yeah. but most of them are four bedrooms, two bath, and this one's going to be a two bedroom. So it might be nice to have some diversity because not everybody needs a big house for an Airbnb, so I'm, I'm interested. So we're really curious if it's going to be too small. So is it too small or not too small? We don't know yet. Let's check it out. Wow. That's Ugh. a lot of wood. That's but, a lot of wood. You know what, we could keep the bottom half and just paint it and just take the top half off and that would look fine. It's too bad, you know, when you have to do that kind of work, it always costs more than just... Well, yeah, because you don't know what kind of shape the sheetrock's going to be in underneath. Yeah, and realistically, you probably have to sheetrock, or if there is sheetrock, there may not be sheetrock or something this thick. Right. In fact, there probably isn't sheetrock. I don't see any sign of sheetrock around right here. So probably that's just on top of the studs. So when you take that off, you got to put sheetrock on. <clears throat> Yeah. It gets more expensive. We obviously had water problems in here or something major because they tore out an original hardwood floor. Oh, that stinks. Yep. So, not good there. All right. So, little kitchen. So we're trying to see if for a rental, can we make this, can we just clean it up and make it look good and get in and out really inexpensively? That's really what we're trying to see. And we don't know yet. There's a lot of, we get gut feels as we walk through the house, so I'm not so sure yet. Immediately, you know me. I like to open stuff up. Well, well, if you're taking that, if you're taking those it's boards not that off, big of a deal anyway. no, not at all. So it's I need room for appliances, though. So I would have to move the sink to the bar area, and then put the appliances over there. So that, but way, that so that's way out of budget then. Why? It's one drain. Okay. Why would that make that well, out so of my, budget? Because my thinking is we can just paint those cabinets. Do you not think that? So if I, I can't open that up if the refrigerator is there. Now look at this though. We got big. We have a big deep pantry here. So that just needs to come out and be right. Isn't this? Space. Isn't that the back of the pantry right there? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's nothing in there, right? No, it's pointless. It's a huge pantry. It's that's pointless. Up, it's taking up valuable space. Well, but the radiator. Oh, I bet the basement stairs go underneath. Yeah. So from here up, we could take out and make that a countertop space. Okay. But well, yeah, that'd be pretty system. pretty high countertop. All right. Well, let's let's keep looking. That so as I'm walking through, things are starting to add up fast, like right. fast. Man, that's a good looking guy right in that. Look at that. What a good looking. <laughs> You're such a jerk. Can lose a few pounds, that's for sure. But <laughs> so Beth, I mean, it's not it's not bad as far as size wise. Yes, it has to be gutted and redone, but. Okay. But size wise, it's cool. So here's the deal, the numbers in this house, they're asking. Is this two bedrooms or one bedroom? Is this a one bedroom house? It's a two bedroom house. Are you sure? I'm not. It used to be two bedrooms. How did you get in the other bedroom? Oh, where the mirror is? Yes. Oh. Yeah, that was a door. The closet's bigger than the whole, the closet's almost bigger than the room. So we have replacement windows, but the design, so I, so I don't know. This is squirrely. This is squirrely, don't you think? A one bedroom. Well, I'm thinking if I can make it back okay. into a two bedroom. Because that closet's way too big for this room anyway. I'd, what I have to make sure of is that I can have at least one queen bed in the house. Because, you know, people aren't going to stay if they're just twin beds. So if there's enough room here, which I think there is, for a queen bed and a nightstand on each side, um, I don't have to build a closet in. I could put one of those little, um, like I did at the other Airbnb. It's like a little like a portable closet. It has like a couple shelves for stuff that they have to fold and a few little hangers on it. So I don't have to have a closet in here, but that would be a solid wall. So bed would go there, nightstand, dresser, TV, 
And then let me look at this room. So that room I could definitely put a queen size bed in. This room I don't think I'll be able to put a queen size bed in. So the door would have to go back there. We would put um, bunk beds right there. So the beauty of what we do is that Amber can see design and make any house look great. She can take anything nasty and make it look beautiful. I see the numbers do not work here very quickly. I can see the numbers don't I work. I might actually have room for a queen size bed on this wall. She's still nice designing and I'm telling side. you we're out of money. No, I'm not mad at you. I'm just, I'm just telling you that. So I don't see why you're saying this is going to cost that much money. It's a wall. It's a door. Okay. It's flooring. We'll talk it out. We'll talk it out. By the way, this is what happens to a, this is what happens to a radiator when you leave water in it. When it freezes, pop that bad boy right out of there. They shoot out of there actually. So when they blow out, they blow out pretty good, but that blows cast iron. Check that out. So you didn't tell me how much they were asking for this. So the m numbers might not work, but as far as like actually how much work is here, it's not that much. I think it's 60, 60,000. And this ARV, it's like a hundred. And I don't even know if it's a hundred because it's so small. It, what you know, do you think it would take, 30? Well, yeah, so the floors alone, you gotta put all new floors down. You're, you're three grand for Five floors. Five thousand square foot. Yeah. And you're, Five to you're, six. Yeah, so you're gonna be, well, you're 300 square, you're, let's call it $3,000 for floors. Yep. Right, $3,000 for floors, you have a couple thousand dollars for, you know, all this jerking around to put the bedrooms back. The roof. 5,000, another, another 5,000 on the roof, so you're 10,000 in. You want to put a new kitchen in, you're another... Small kitchen, so it's not going to cost that much. Still going to be 10 grand. No. You're going to put appliances, move stuff around, open a wall up, electrical plumbing. We haven't seen the basement yet. Let's go look at the basement. So let's just say we're at 20 grand. Let's say we're, let's say, let's say that we have to put a new bathroom too. That's going to be, usually we're at four grand for new, that's, that's a regular bathroom. Yeah. So we're going to be, we're at 25,000. As we're sitting here, we're at 25. The windows are in good shape. You gotta jerk around with all this stuff too, don't forget. Oh. Super cute backyard. These houses, typically, all the other ones we've ever bought, they enclose this yeah. and make it part of the it's house. A breezeway. It makes it a breezeway and it gives it more square footage, so. This needs a little love, but it's not bad. Fenced in. What is mostly. that? Mostly. What is what? That's the U-Haul that building? building. Oh, that's U-Haul in Hamburg. Oh, I was not aware. Okay, I lost my bearings, but oh. There's our office. That was our old office over there. Oh, funny. You know, need, needs a little cleaning, but you know, nice deck already here. Okay. It's not bad. Okay, so needs not a bad. Clean up. Let's go see what the basement looks like. So electrical, so oil heat. Oh boy. Breakers are. It's 100 amps, well, it's a small house, so it's probably okay. Can we get gas here, though? I mean, the radiators are blown anyway, so we'll probably have to take those out. There, are, there already is gas here. That's an old oil tank, because it's, it's already got, oh, well, it's already got a gas line. Bonus. So the furnace looks to be in good shape. Power here is old, but probably doable. Yeah, but just for efficiency's sake, if we're paying for it, we probably want to, oh, if true. it's an Airbnb. I we're paying for it. Here's a random bathroom, apparently going to nothing. Well, they were putting a bedroom down here. It's got water. Is it just the toilet? They didn't put a sink in? They were, they were trying to, it looks like. They, had a, they have a drain there. Why not make that bigger? They had room. I don't know, babe. So stupid. This was going to be a bedroom. Here's the closet. Yeah, you really can't make bedrooms in a basement. There's no egress. In case of a fire, you, if, in case of a fire, you can't get out of a basement. You have to have an egress window, which is a window big enough to fit a body out. Or a door. Or a door. You have to have egress, some way to get out. And there's different requirements in different areas, I think, for the size, but it's pretty good size. So. This would not be to code. <laughs> no, you can't, you can't really do a bed. I mean, if you do, you, a homeowner would do it down here, but we couldn't do that and no. rent it. No, 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 no. So it's a one bedroom, it's a, it's a two bedroom it's house, a two it's bedroom, really tiny. Two bedroom, one bath house. Let's walk upstairs where it's warmer, it's freezing down here. Yeah, it is. Is washer and dryer down here though? Yes. Okay. So, let's talk about some numbers. Um, we're gonna be probably, I would say on a good day, we're at least $30,000 to get this thing up Great. to snuff. Agreed. Right? So $30,000 into the house, um, 
they want, I think they want 60. I think they, so the wholesaler has it under contract. Let me see if I have it here real quick. Uh, let's see. Can they go negotiate with the seller though and get it down cheaper? Well, here's here's the deal. Let, let's let's look real quick. Hold on a minute. Yeah. So they were asking sixty. They were asking sixty-five thousand. They're down to sixty thousand. Um, they'll take a lesser fee because they want to do business with us and get you know kind of get in the in the family so to speak. Sixty is way too high. This is sometimes the problem with a brand new investor. So a brand new investor or a brand new wholesaler who's not from the area, found this deal, who knows where, I'm not sure. They find the deal and they put it under contract early, but if you don't put it under for the, for the right price out of the gates, you're not gonna sell it. And so even this time, they put it under, now what, ha what happens is the seller has a false sense of value. So because they have a false sense of value, they think the home is now worth 60,000. It's not. They just pulled that number out of the air, thinking, "Let I hope I can get that for it." Well, I think I think that they're I think that they're I think that they're at uh, 55 under contract for whatever it is. But they have a yeah they have a, a number in their mind they think it's worth. The only way I can see a house like this working is if we bought it for like 30. I was thinking 40, but yeah. Let's say we bought it for 40. If we bought it for 40 and we put 30 into it, we're 70 into it. Five grand for refinance, all that kind of stuff. It's worth a hundred thousand. You could refinance. That would work. A $40,000 price tag would work because we could refi. Now, the nervous part is when you're buying, an, when you're gonna buy something as a short-term rental, if you don't know if it's gonna be an income producing property as a short-term rental, you've gotta be prepared to let it, um, let it profit on its own as a regular rental, a long-term rental. And I think you could pick up, you know, 1,100 bucks a month for this, 1,000, right. 1,100 bucks a month, probably something like that. So it would be really tight though, because tax, I don't know what the taxes are, they're probably up there. It would be tight. This is definitely a tight deal. So um, the question, if, is the house too small? It's definitely small. So to make it work, I don't know. I think we're gonna go back and have our team go back and see if they can renegotiate with the seller. We're gonna call the wholesaler, tell them that they overpaid for it, see if we can go renegotiate. If we can, we'll kick back money to the wholesaler because we want to keep them in the loop because we always take care of people that bring deals to us and then we'll see if it works, yep. right? And if it does, does, if it doesn't, it doesn't. So on to the next house.